everyone, it's Arlene from Arlene's Creations. And if you saw my weigh-in video, um, I spoke about a cookie order that I had to get done. <clears throat> well, this is the cookie order. So it's for a christening. So I made um, 40 of these cute cross cookies. Of course, it's for a boy, hence the blue. His name is Zachary. Now, I, um, I do, for every cookie order, if they want it, <clears throat> if they're going to be handing them out as favors and not necessarily just putting the cookies on a dessert table, I do the tags. And my tags are on um, a glossy brochure paper, not regular printer paper. And then I always do a nice basket and decorate it. So on this blue basket, I put the ribbon going through all the way around. Then I hot glued this pretty ribbon. And then around the top, I put wrapped tool and then this real pretty um, beaded ribbon. Well, it's not ribbon. It's like, I don't know, like a beading cording. As you can see, very pretty. And then attach this pretty satin bow, light blue satin bow. So it just makes the presentation look so much nicer on the table. As you can see. And then over here, <clears throat> the frame, the picture frame is just from the Dollar Tree. And it just says, thank you for attending Zachary's christening. Please take a cookie favor on your way out. And then they could display that on a separate table when people are leaving the party. They can take one of their little cookie favors. And this ribbon is a, a grow grain ribbon. So for, for special occasion, occasions like this, I try to use like a pretty ribbon and not so much the curly ribbon. I just think it looks a little nicer. So yeah, so that's my basket of cookies that I was working on for a few days. It takes one day to bake the cookies. Then the following day, I have to flood with the white icing. Let that dry about six hours and then do the piping for the decorations. <clears throat> and then let that sit overnight and dry and then wrap them all. So I'm really tired. I have to go cook for the homeless now, but I was actually up until um, about 1.30, 2 o'clock <clears throat> wrapping and attaching the, um, the tags. And... And it's uh, and then I got up at seven, so I'm like on four and a half hours sleep. I'm really tired, but I wanted to get this done so that after I cooked for the homeless, I didn't have to come home <coughs> and start wrapping cookies and then deliver them tonight. So I wanted to deliver them right at, right when I get out from the um, from the church cooking, which is at three o'clock. So what I'm gonna do next. And I'll show you at the end is I wrap the whole entire thing in tool and just secure it, you know, with another little ribbon on the top. And this way she can cut it open at the end of the party that people aren't taking cookies the whole party long so that <clears throat> they make sure everybody gets one. I fell asleep with my window open last night. And it's pouring rain here, and I woke up with a sore throat. So, oh, I wish I could sleep, but I gotta go soon. I gotta get ready in about an hour. But I just wanted to show you all, if anybody out there lives in the Long Island area, New York, and you're having any type of a party, I can do cookies for any party. Just contact me, and I'll be happy to make your event special. So there you have it. I'll be back and I'll show you how it looks when it's wrapped up in the tool. Okay, so I have the tool wrapped around. As you can see, there's a netting. And I don't put it over the bow because I don't want to squish the pretty bow on the top. 
because you want to leave this as the presentation on the table. So how I do it, let me just turn this around so you can see, is I just gather it in the front, pull it all back to here, and then put a ribbon around the back, and then I just cut off all the extra tool that was sticking off. See, so this way, the whole thing is covered with the tool. I think it adds a little something extra. And nobody can take the cookies until the end of the party when she decides to hand them out. You can look, but you can't touch. That's my philosophy. So I think it looks really cute. Turn it around again. And like I said, you just gather it from the front on both sides of the bow because you don't want to squish the bow, you know, the bow on the top. So you still want it to look pretty on the table, yet you want it all covered. So it's all covered in the tool. And I think it looks gorge. So that's just a quick little tip on how I make my baskets for my cookies, for the displays. So if you're new to my channel, thank you for tuning in. If you're, uh, you've been watching my channel for a while, thanks for coming back. Um, if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscription button. Please hit the notification bell so you know when I have another video coming up. And I appreciate everyone that's watching. And I appreciate comments. And please give the video a thumbs up if you like the way this basket came out. And thanks everyone for watching. Everybody have a blessed day. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye now.